Like if if they close the thing, yeah, and Bruce Buffer is in there, yeah, it's time. Let's go. The place would go fucking bananas. Bananas. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Does it have to be in the Coliseum? Would you agree? No, I'd, no I'd, I'd do it anywhere. I, I literally said anywhere, right, anywhere, anytime. You know where you should do any it. rules. You know where you should do it. The Sphere in Las Vegas. The Sphere is great. The Sphere, I was just the sphere there. is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I was there. I've only seen it on the outside, but it looks No, incredible. the inside's even better. I've seen video. I haven't seen it live, but I... I was we there on Saturday night, and it was, it's awesome. There. Like, it's really good. I Amazing. think it might be the best show on earth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you have visuals that uh, accompany the music, like, if you have, like, someone like Roger Waters, like, which his show is, like, insanely visual, something like that in yeah. the sphere, it would be the art, incredible. The art in the show that I saw on Saturday night was, uh, who was it? incredibly good. I, I don't know who did all the art, but what was the band? It was U two. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, I've been to U two concerts, and U two is great. But uh, but but um, the Sphere is really like if U two hadn't been there, it would still be great. Yeah. Yeah, U two's. It's, it's like a. You know, like a, the, on Sunday there was a, a movie that was they played a movie there. Whoa. Like, um, was, Where do you look? Yeah, in all directions. Oh it's my great. god! Yeah. Are you I mean, it's like this? actually being like in, in virtual reality. Yeah. In, in, in fact, it was such, it was so wild, the Saturday night one especially, uh, that you, you, you step outside after the show and like, you're like, why is reality so boring? <laughs> oh, so this is a postcard yeah, from Earth. It's Darren Aronofsky's uh, thing. Oh, wow. And you're watching this. I saw that on Sunday. And it covers the whole ceiling. Oh, my God. It's really great. You saw it there? Yeah. Oh my God, that's um, that's incredible. Yeah, it's really good. That'd be the I, like, greatest when I say place it's like, to see a movie ever. I think it's like Saturday night, the Saturday night show, and obviously YouTube adds to it. But like I said, the the sphere is really special in and of itself. Um, I think it's pr probably the best show I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah. I can imagine. I mean, it's just what an amazing venue and what an incredible idea. Yeah, it's really to cool. have the entire ceiling, yeah. all screen. I got to hand it to Dolan. That was. Pretty amazing yeah. absolutely amazing I'm, I'm so glad that he did that and yeah. then also the outside oh that's incredible I mean, they really play with perspective god because it's 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 round but it doesn't right. look round right so it'll it'll be like it'll simulate like a like a square like all sorts of shapes wow um, and then also the outside of it like they had the outside yeah. of it it looked like earth it's just amazing it's really cool yeah super cool so that's, I, I like these epic things it's that's like, the uh, venue you know it's really cool. That's the venue. That's where it needs to go down. In the sphere? Sure. Yeah, that's even better than Coliseum. Okay. Yeah. Especially if the United States falls, that would be our Coliseum. This would be our Rome. It Vegas did, will be our Rome. I mean, the sphere right? did, did the remind me of, spot. of being like a modern-day Coliseum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a modern-day version. Like, what would yeah. they do? Yeah, with our technology currently. Yeah. And then Vegas is like kind of Rome-esque. In the sense that when we think about like the the hedonism of Rome, its final days, that's Vegas. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, perfect. Y yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Are you not entertained? You will fucking be entertained. <laughs> You'll be fucking. You'll be fucking entertained. So entertained, no doubt. Um, let's do it. There's one point in time where you, you were trying to get people to do a pause on AI. I mean, I, I signed on to a letter that someone else wrote. Um, I didn't think that people would actually pause. But you thought it was probably a good idea if they did. <sighs> I mean... I think so, too. Yeah. I mean, ma making some sort of digital superintelligence seems like it, it could be dangerous. It certainly has the potential. And certainly has the potential... Well, when you were talking about the the what this mind virus, how it was able to propagate through the, the, the social media and being in control of social media platforms. Yeah. Think about what that means if that same mind virus gets in control of a super intelligence. And that is possible. Yeah. No, that's, what, that's actually what I think the biggest danger is for AI is that if AI is implicitly programmed, I don't think they do it explicitly, but implicitly programmed with values that lead to that, that, that have led to the destruction of downtown San Francisco. And a bunch of these AI companies are in, the San, in, in either in San Francisco or in, in the San Francisco Bay Area. 
then uh, you could implicitly program an AI to believe that extinction of humanity is uh, what it should try to do.